So you guys asked for it and I'm going to deliver and that is going to be the IT certification tier list. We're gonna be ranking the best and the worst IT certs. We're talking both certifications and certificates from S tier, which is the best to F tier, which is the worst. Now keep in mind, this is just my opinion, but it is based off of my own experience, the experience of my students and experience of experts that I asked. So let's go ahead and jump in right now with the first one on the list, which is going to be the Google IT support professional certificate. Now this one is excellent if you're a complete beginner and it's an entry level IT support certification. And it basically just covers the basics of IT support and it's offered through Coursera. And by the way, I'll put the link down in the description in the pinned comment below so you can check it out. And it's basically less comprehensive than something like CompTIA A+, but it's still really good and arguably the best one for beginners. So yeah, this one is absolutely going to go into S tier. Now, by the way, guys, I'm gonna go through this incredibly fast because there are a lot of IT certs. Now, next is the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Certification. Now, this is an entry-level AWS certification, and I'm gonna put this one into A tier because it provides a basic understanding of AWS cloud concepts, which means it's great for beginners, and anything to do with the cloud is amazing. So this is a good starting point for non-technical roles needing AWS knowledge. And it's also relatively easy compared to other AWS certifications. Next is going to be the Course Careers Certificate. Now, when it comes to these certificates, there's basically only two things that matter. One, how recognized and respected are the certificates by hiring managers and decision makers? And two, how much do they actually teach you? How much value do they give you? And the truth is, the first one is by far the most important. And as much as you want to be one of those people that, you know, is just like, wow, this one sucks, I want to do this other one, what really matters is whether hiring managers recognize it and respect it. With one exception, and that is the course career certificate. And the reason for that is because they cut out all the fat and they focus exactly on what you need to do to actually land a job. So they probably teach you things that hiring managers and business owners might not want you to know because it's kind of like a cheat code for getting a job. And that's why they have reviews where they've gotten people jobs in seven days, 10 days, and 12 days. So that one's really good as well. Check it out down in the description in the pinned comment below, especially good for a beginner. And I'm gonna put it in S tier as well. Next is the AWS Certified Developer Certification. Now, this one is really good for validating your skills in developing and maintaining AWS-based applications. And so for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into B tier status. And this one can be especially good for software developers working with AWS. Plus it complements the Solutions Architect certification. Next is the AWS Certified Solutions Architect. And this one is the top tier cloud certification and it demonstrates advanced AWS expertise. So this one is basically just an automatic S tier. It's amazing, it's well-respected, definitely get it. So next is gonna be kind of a broad category, but it's basic online courses without industry recognition. And this is basically just random online courses that have a lack of standardization and industry recognition, and they don't have a proven track record of getting people success. So these are gonna go straight into F tier. Next is going to be the CCIE, which is the Cisco Certified Internetwork Expert. This is the highest level Cisco certification, and it demonstrates expert level networking skills. And this one is highly respected in the networking industry. And so therefore, I'm gonna put it straight into S tier. Next is going to be the CCNA, which is the Cisco Certified Network Associate. And this one is kind of like a foundational networking certification. And it's also widely recognized and respected. And this one looks both good for HR and also teaching technical skills. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it into A tier because it's really a good starting point for a networking career. Next is the CEH or Certified Ethical Hacker. And it's often requested in job listings. Now this one covers a wide range of hacking tools and techniques, but it is criticized for reliance on multiple choice questions. However, it is recognized by many organizations and even government agencies. So this one is pretty good. I'm kind of struggling to put it in either A tier or B tier, but I'm gonna be nice and put this one into A tier. Next is the CISSP, which is the Certified Information System Security Professional Certification. And this one is widely recognized. It covers broad security knowledge, and it's honestly highly valued by employers. And it does require five years of experience in two or more security domains. And this one is often required in senior security positions, you know, the ones that pay a lot of money. So yeah, this one is gonna go straight into S tier. It is excellent. Next is the CompTIA A+, and it looks great on a resume, but it's probably not that great for technical skills. A lot of people actually complain about how little it actually teaches you. But it is an entry-level IT certification, and it does cover the basics of hardware and software knowledge. And this one is honestly pretty good for beginners. And this kind of goes back to that thing where, you know, it's more important to be recognized and respected by hiring managers than actually having the technical skills. So for that reason, I have to put this one into A tier. Next is the CompTIA IT Fundamentals Certification. And it's a very basic IT certification. And basically it covers most of the basic IT concepts, but it's aimed at complete beginners or non-IT professionals. And to be honest with you, this one is probably 
probably way too basic for most IT job roles, but it can be a starting point, I guess, before you pursue the CompTIA A+, or a different certification. But overall, I think you could probably skip out on this one. I'm gonna put it into D tier. Next is the CompTIA Network Plus certification. And this one is an entry-level networking certification, and it's vendor neutral. And it really covers like networking fundamentals, and it's a good starting point for those new to IT. And it basically just provides a broad understanding of networking concepts. So this one's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of put it in the middle, C tier. Next is the CompTIA Security Plus. And this one is a well-recognized entry-level security certification. And it covers fundamental security concepts, and it's often required by the US Department of Defense. So it is a good starting point for cybersecurity related careers. And of course, IT and cybersecurity are very intertwined. So yeah, this one's pretty solid. I mean, this is an IT list, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into B tier. Next is the ITIL, which is the Information Technology Infrastructure Library. And this one is an entry-level IT service management certification, and it covers IT service management best practices. It's basically useful for understanding IT operations and service delivery, and it's widely recognized in IT management. But it's more focused on processes rather than actual technical skills, so it's kind of the business side of things a little bit. So it can be somewhat valuable, but overall, it's definitely not necessary, so I'm gonna put it into C tier. Next is the MCSE, or the Microsoft Certified Solutions Expert Certification. And this one is an advanced Microsoft certification, and it demonstrates expertise in Microsoft technologies. So it covers various different Microsoft technologies and products, and multiple specialization tracks available. So it's really valuable for IT professionals in Microsoft-centric environments. So if you're applying to a company that uses Microsoft, then obviously this one would look really good. But overall, I think on the grand scheme of things, this one is gonna go into B tier. Next is Microsoft 365 Certified, and this one is the fundamentals. And this one basically just covers the basics of Microsoft 365 services. And it's a good introduction to cloud concepts and Microsoft's offerings. Overall, it's good, but not great. I'm gonna put it into C tier. Next is the Microsoft Certified Azure Administrator Associate. And this demonstrates proficiency in managing Azure environments. So anything that's cloud related can be super valuable. Cloud related positions are basically like printing money. And this one is growing in demand as more companies adopt Azure. And this is good for those in or aspiring to be in cloud administration roles. So yeah, overall pretty good. I'm gonna give it a B tier rating. Next is the Microsoft Certified Azure Solutions Architect Expert. And this is the top tier Microsoft Cloud Certification. And it demonstrates advanced Azure expertise. Now this one is incredibly impressive if you have it. And it really does require significant hands-on experience with Azure. So this one is phenomenal if you're gonna be working with Azure and if you're gonna be trying to get into a cloud position. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it an A tier status. Next is the Microsoft Technology Associate or MTA. And this is an entry level Microsoft certification and it's kind of being phased out to be honest with you. So for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into D tier. Next is the OSCP, which is the Offensive Security Certified Professional Certification. And this one is a highly respected practical penetration testing certification. And you actually have a 24 hour hands on exam simulating real world scenarios. And it focuses on manual penetration testing techniques. And it's really highly valued in offensive security roles. So yeah, this one's great. I'm gonna put it into A tier. Next is the RHCE, which is the Red Hat Certified Engineer Certification. And this is the top tier Linux certification. And it demonstrates advanced skills when it comes to anything Linux. So if you're applying to a company that uses Linux, this one obviously is going to look amazing. So overall, I'm gonna give this one an A tier status. Next is vendor specific entry level certifications with limited scope in general, and they have limited use cases, and they're really only relevant to specific products or versions, and they often become quickly outdated. So these may have some value for certain specialized roles, but generally speaking, they're not widely applicable. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into F tier. All right, guys, so the Google certificates, like I mentioned before, are amazing. They have an unbelievable amount of positive feedback online. And if you wanna check out the absolute best Google certificates, I did make a tier list on them, and you can check that out by clicking right here.